Good morning, good life. Welcome back to Amy TV, where we come together to help you go after the life you want. One of the things I always say is a famous quote by Jim Rohn, and that is, you are the average of the five people you spend the most time with. Take a look around. Do you like what you see? They may not always be the people that are right next to you. They may not even just be your own family. They could be digital people. Who do you look at on Instagram? Who do you watch on YouTube? Are they making a positive impact on your life? One of the ways that I like to hack this is I take a look around and I say, you know, I really don't have anyone coaching me in this area and I need a lot of help with that. How can I incorporate more of that into my life? How can I seek out that person? Podcasts, by far and away, one of the best ways to do this next to reading books. As simply as you could turn on an audiobook, you can turn on a podcast. And people who are literally working to bring solutions for you will just talk in your ear as long as you want. And I love it. It's why I have a podcast. I love sharing advice here on YouTube, but there's lots of stuff we can just talk about not on video, which is why I have detail therapy. Podcasts are such a great way to surround yourself with people who are really, really smart about stuff that you wanna know more about or feelings you wanna feel more of. And that is just the amazing thing about podcasts and why I like to go to them for more positivity and more inspiration in my life. In order to listen to a podcast, you've gotta have a pretty great platform on your side, which is why I am partnering with our friends over at Stitcher for this episode of Amy TV. Stitcher is literally home to all of your favorite podcasts. It's a free podcast app, both available on iOS and Android. It's also been rebuilt across mobile and web to make it easier and quicker to listen to the podcasts you love. One of the biggest things for me is I like to jazz it up. I like to know what I like, but then discover more of what I like really easily. The Stitcher app allows you to do that with their discoverability. It's honestly some of the best I've seen when it comes to navigating more and better podcasts. Based on what you already like, you can go through different genres, you can look at the podcasts you already listen to and see what they recommend in turn because of what you are subscribed to. And for me, when you're trying to get more positive and you're trying to get more inspiration, taking recommendations from somebody on what to listen to is great, but it's got to be right for you. And Stitcher will absolutely help you to figure that out as well. You also will definitely wanna check out some of the new advanced features in the app that are just as unique as you are, like choosing download preferences per show and listening at virtually any speed. I'm personally like a 1.25 kind of gal. I don't like 1X and I definitely can't do 2X. And if you try to listen to my podcast at 2X, you probably won't be able to understand what I'm saying lines of clocking in and clocking out. And if you work from home, you're going to be doing it or coming up with different business ideas that could be powerful enough to help you lead your job. It's probably not going to be a good fit for you. You've got to find just the right speed so that you can make the most of your time and listening, but that's so different for everyone. So I just love all of the options that Stitcher has for you. So when you check out some of the shows that I recommend to you today, definitely check out Stitcher as well. It is free for you to download. Check out the link in the description below. First, the Tim Ferriss Show. There have been moments where I kind of got into Tim Ferriss' show and then kind of like stopped listening to it because sometimes you get a little overwhelmed from a long show, but I keep going back to it because every time I click play, he's talking to some of the most extraordinary people who teach me the most brilliant things. And probably my favorite part of listening to Tim is he asks great questions. I'm not talking about like basic interviewer question stuff. I'm talking about questions that we really need to stop and ask ourselves. And I'm constantly writing down like, ooh, I need to remember that. Ooh, I should wake up tomorrow and ask myself that question, see how I feel. There's just so much about Tim's approach to philosophy, to the world, to human nature that is really fun to hear and really fun to use for my own self-development. So I love listening to Tim's show. I may not make it through an entire episode sometimes, but it's still amazing to hear all of the people that he has on the show and how extraordinary they are and how different they are and how Tim asks them questions. That really is not like anything else. If you're just starting with the Tim Ferriss show, I recommend you look for one of his episodes with Kevin Rose. They do a few together. Uh, they're very good friends and I always find those to be the best fly in the wall podcast to listen to. 
happier with Gretchen Rubin. If you are not a stranger to this channel, you know that I absolutely love Gretchen. I love all of her books. I love her methodology. I think she is so fascinating in how she studies human nature and she is nothing short of extraordinary on her podcast when she does this. Happier is so much fun to listen to. I always feel better. I always have a tangible piece of advice for how I can be a little happier in my life thanks to listening to that show. And um, yeah, she has a great time just talking to her sister as her co-host, but they also get some really good guests on as well. One of the coolest things I think about this podcast is that she does a little happier episodes. So she doesn't just have this standard 25 to 30 minute listens. She also has just a two minute episode every once in a while. While, and it's just enough to get a little bit of flavor, something to fit in between tasks that could give you that little pick me up. Juicy Scoop with Heather McDonald. This is for my reality TV lovers out there, if you're like me, especially about the Real Housewives. There is something special about being able to take a chill pill, sit on the couch, and watch Real Housewives over a glass of wine. There is something even more special when you are listening to Heather reenact everything that happened on that episode you watched. <laughs> she is one of the most hilarious comedians I have ever heard. And uh, she just has this incredible show where people are constantly coming to her about pop culture. And where that looks so different today, we used to just have the go-to shows on cable that we would watch to learn about what was happening in pop culture. It looks so different now. Her personality, her laughter, her comedy, everything about what she brings to just a basic television viewing experience makes it so much more fun. So if you find this to be enjoyable in your life, the listening to or watching of reality TV, I really think you will enjoy Heather's take on all of this. Oprah's Super Soul Conversations. One of the things I always felt so crappy about with Super Soul Sunday was that I never watched it. And I always wanted to, every once in a while I would catch an episode, I would watch a replay, but it was really hard for me to sit down and always watch Super Soul Sunday. But I always thought to myself, this would make the perfect podcast. These two people sitting in Oprah's backyard, if you can call it that, because it's extraordinary, it's like a forest. Just talking about some of the most meaningful, deep, issues of life and death and love. And I loved it so much, but not enough to sit down and watch it. As a podcast, this is one of my favorites by far. Being able to listen to Oprah and the way she is so good at being curious and asking questions of some of the most brilliant minds, um, and then just hearing those brilliant minds share their thoughts. I can't think of a, si a single super soul conversation that I did not get real moments of introspection for myself. And that can do nothing but be positive and inspirational in your everyday. If you can just make a few minutes to listen, I, I highly recommend it. The Ed Milet Show. When I first heard about this one, I was a little bit skeptical because I just thought like, oh, just another super successful guy that's interviewing people. No. Absolutely not. So much more than that. I feel like I am really listening to a wise teacher when I hear Ed Milet on his podcast. His interviews are great, no doubt about it, but really the special moments come when it is just him sharing his ideas, sharing his life experience to move you in a more positive direction in your life, to give you a little bit more perspective about what is really happening. Um, this one was a sleeper for me, but I highly recommend it. Brene Brown's Unlocking Us. I think this was like the podcast everyone was waiting for. If you're like me and you loved Daring Greatly and if you loved Rising Strong, those were the two books by Brene Brown that I absolutely adored. And I thought, why is this woman not podcasting? <laughs> and when her podcast was announced, I knew that it was exactly where I needed my headspace to be. Uh, I just love how real she is. She is not someone who has put herself on a pedestal. She doesn't act too good. She's really honest and really raw. And sometimes we just need that in a podcast in our earbuds and uh, we get that with Unlocking Us. Certainly we get some extraordinary people that sit down and talk to Brene as well, but I really like who Brene is and that is what makes her podcast really special. And finally, The Brendan Show. This is Brendan Burchard's podcast. Uh, I have to say that Brendan has been one of the key thought leaders 
in my life as a as a content creator, as a businesswoman, um, and as a high performer. He speaks directly to high performance, and he gives some of the most actionable and motivational and inspiring advice for someone whose job is to be actionable and motivational and inspiring. And so sometimes when you find yourself trying to reach for more because you so desperately want to teach, but sometimes you run out of gas a little bit and you need to be refueled. I feel refueled when I listen to The Brendan Shows. He honestly just offers so much different perspective that is useful for me in my day to day. So if you have a similar life to mine and maybe your career is going in a direction of thought leadership and high performance, uh, Brendan Burchard is an amazing teacher and his podcast is highly recommended as well. I'm such a nerd for finding more podcasts because when I'm not listening to an audiobook and I just need something to give me a little pep in my step, I am listening to podcasts. I am in the Stitcher app. I'm at 1.25 speed and I'm listening to one of these shows, but I want to hear what your suggestions are as well. Who do you listen to that makes you feel inspired, motivates you, gets you going in ways that you didn't think were possible until your mindset shifted? Please share those resources in the comments down below. Let's make it useful for everybody and and get everybody off on the right foot with their podcast listening experience. Thank you so much to Stitcher for sponsoring this episode of Amy TV. Don't forget to download their app. The link is in the description below. That's all for today. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Remember, subscribe for good vibes, kiss the ones you love, and go after the life you want. Cheers. The Tim Ferriss Show. I have kind of... Oh. This is for my reality TV friends out there. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Thank you so much to...